Welcome to The Wandering Drew. I am Drew. As this is the first episode that I'm doing, I'd like to take time out to thank you for selecting and picking this video and taking time out to watch it. What I'm hoping to do is to bring information regarding to backpacking, hiking, and camping. Mostly backpacking. Um, backpacking is something that I've recently become more and more involved in and it seems to be taking up more and more of my um, interest and free time. And there seems to be a lot of misinformation out there about it. And a lot of people, when I mention some of the trips or activities that I'm doing, will ask me a lot of questions. And some of their questions are really show that they, they're just not familiar with what it is or, or, or what goes on when you're doing backpacking or hiking. So I get a lot of questions like, you know, where do you go to do this? How far away do you have to travel to do this? Uh, are you taking a gun with you? Are you worried about bears and snakes? Where do I sleep? Where do you get your food from? Where do you eat? Uh, questions along those times. Go to the bathroom. Where do you go to the bathroom? That's always a big one. And a lot of people, when I tell them what I'm planning on doing, you know, several, uh, backpacking somewhere, going out in the woods for several days and stuff, uh, a lot of them, you know, obviously it's not for them. They say, oh, I'm not, I would never do that. Or, But a lot of people are very frequently um, intrigued by that and say, wow, that sounds great. I wish I could do that. Or, you know, that's good for you, but I don't think I could ever do that. Whatever. And then I always have to ask them questions about why not? Why can't you do this? If it's something you want to do, why wouldn't you be able to do this? What are you waiting for? You know, go, go try it, even if it's just a hike in the woods for a couple of hours with your family. You know, why not do that? Hiking is for people of all abilities. Uh, there's very few people that can't go hiking or backpacking. Uh, unless you have a very serious medical condition, I firmly believe that everybody, as long as you're able to walk a short distance, and I mean a really short distance, if you can walk a quarter of a mile, uh, then you're able to do hiking or backpacking. You can just build up from there. So there's no reason for anyone not to be able to do this. And I really do believe that. You know, why people hike? They do it for different reasons. Some people like to get outdoors. Some people like the exercise. Uh, some people want to go outside with family and friends and go on a trip. Some people just want to be out in, in nature. Some people like the scenery. Uh, others like the change of the routine. So it, hiking is for all these reasons. It may be many of them, maybe different ones. You just need to find out what your why is. Why do you want to go out in the woods? What makes you want to go hiking or walking or backpacking? Is it for the views? Is it for the exercise? Is it for an experience, something different? You know, wh why? And you, only you can really answer that. And it's unique and personal to each person of why they want to do that. But that brings me to why am I doing this? Well. Uh, at the time that I'm shooting this, in June of 2019, I'm 50 years old. Um, I guess I've always really uh, liked hiking. Um, you know, I grew up in, in, in New York City. Uh, we didn't have mountains. We didn't have any woods around. We had parks, but no woods, what I call the concrete jungle. Um, and I was first exposed to hiking as a, a scout in the Boy Scouts. We went hiking um, once, I remember, in the 1777 Trail, which is in upstate New York. And I was just really fascinated by that. I've always liked history as well. But I was really intrigued by the fact that I'm walking on the same trail, the same path, the same ground that the Revolutionary War patriots and soldiers walked on 200 years before me. And that, to me, was amazing. Uh, we also got a little medal after the hike, which never hurts, I should say, with uh, a positive reinforcement. And, you know, kids like uh, getting medals. That was my first experience with hiking, hiking. 
Um, other than that, we went camping a lot in Scouts, and I used to love camping. And if we had free time and there was nothing to do, uh, generally we would go out in the woods and we'd go with the other boys. We'd do what we call exploring, which basically was running around, maybe playing a game or just exploring, but not getting lost. And, that, and I loved that part more than all the other stuff. So that made a very positive impression on me. Um, I then started working and I grew up. I didn't really hike or camp or anything until uh, I got older and I had a family of my own and my sons were involved in scouting. And at that point, uh, we went camping just like uh, I did, but no hiking, no backpacking, very little. It was hard enough just to get the kids to go on a two or three mile walk sometimes. So um, that was management. But every summer when they became Boy Scouts, they went away to summer camp. And every time we went away to summer camp, we always ended up going to the mountain somewhere where there were paths and trails. And I was fortunate enough to accompany my sons on their trips to summer camp several years. And, you know, those areas with the mountains and the trees and the, and the forest are just so different from where I currently live, which has none of those things. So I was... Um, during the day when I would get free time, if I wasn't involved in helping the boys or doing anything, I would try to go for a little walk, a little hike. And that during that week, it rekindled my interest in hiking. And I started doing it pretty much every day. And then every subsequent year, I would look forward to summer camp, just like the boys would, because I knew I was gonna get to go and do some hiking. And most of the time, um, I went with another leader for a couple of times during the day if we both were free. But, uh, you know, he wasn't always available uh, if we were busy teaching something or helping the boys. Or one year, he, he wasn't able to go. So eventually, I basically felt comfortable and confident enough to go out hiking by myself. And I did that every day. And um, I would go usually several hours or several miles during the day. It started out just, you know, a little couple of hours, uh, maybe with a bottle of water and then maybe like a, a protein bar or something. And it led to, by the end of the year, uh, the following year, I was bringing a little day pack with me, a little backpack, and I would put a little more supplies in, uh, being prepared, obviously being a scout, but just in case something happened while I was out there. But I had a little bit more plan to it. It wasn't uh, as impromptu, it was more organized on my part. And then uh, it kindled an interest in trying to get a hiking group together in scouts. The only problem was that uh, none of the other leaders really seemed interested in this. It was just myself and another leader. And we met with uh, a lot of opposition, no success really, very little success. We did a couple of day hikes of two to three miles, maybe five miles, but very hard to get both the boys and the other leaders on board to go for a longer hike um, or an overnight camping trip with a hike. It just didn't seem to work. And, I, and uh, that was a little disheartening because it just didn't take place. So I decided then to try and do a group outside of Scouts. So I attempted to organize a multi-day backpacking trip during the summer when the kids are out of school and there was no summer camp. So, um,